The Simulink State Flow Modeling notation of the MathWorks is widely used for model-based design of embedded software. Model-based design offers a number of advantages. Models serve as unambiguous specifications that can be shared among engineers. Models allow engineers to work at a higher level of abstraction. Models can be simulated to debug them and better understand system behavior. Code can automatically be generated from models. The Reactus tool suite from Reactive Systems offers a number of important testing and validation capabilities for a Simulink-based development process. In Reactus, you can generate tests that thoroughly exercise your model, simulate your model to help you identify and eliminate bugs, check that a model meets its requirements. Simulink and Stateflow offer a vast array of modeling constructs that enable you to specify a wide range of behavior. Simulink also makes it possible to incorporate C code into your model. You can do this in several ways. Write a regular S function, wrap your code using an S function builder block, or use Stateflow custom code. You can test C code against a model. For example, you might want to check auto-generated code against the originating model. But there's a problem. When simulating a model in Simulink, C code in a model is compiled and executed. What happens while the code is executing is not visible to the user during normal simulation. Treating C code as a black box has risks. There's no way to tell what the code is doing, which lines of code are executing or not executing, or where the design flaws are. But what's worse, if there's a hard error like an overflow, Simulink continues with no way to detect or report the error. If you've ever had a simulation freeze or report obviously incorrect values, you probably want to know why. So, we have a question about a critical part of our model. Is the code behaving the way I expect? How can I tell? What exactly is happening between data being fed into my S function or state flow code and data coming out? Thankfully, there's a solution. The Reactus for C plugin integrates seamlessly with Reactus to visualize the C code in the Simulink model. You can fully test, observe, and debug the C code just as you can the Simulink and Stateflow portions of your model. Here are a few of the features of the Reactus for C plugin. Configurable error checking for variables and pointers. Single step capability. Fast feedback on C variables. C code coverage tracking. Detailed coverage report generation. To prepare your model for C debugging, simply select the S function Identify your C files, name any include directories, or any necessary defines, and you're done. If you're including Stateflow custom code, you don't need to do anything. The code is compiled and made ready for debugging automatically. Let's look at a few of the C plugin features in action. You can see the code files in the left panel integrated with the model hierarchy for easy reference. You can also see the C code components in the view provided by the Info File Editor, C Code tab. Clicking on the name will take you to that component in the model. Much like Reactus, the C plugin intelligently creates input vectors that exercise the limits of the module. The plugin also gives detailed graphical indication of what has been executed or covered. Let's look at an example. Here we have a small model that implements a variable time delay algorithm with a few extra features. The main function is to output the delayed interpolated input signal to reset the buffer on command and to let the user know if a delay out of range occurs. Let's try to debug the C code using Reactus Tester. For each runtime error detected, the plugin creates a test that demonstrates the problem. If necessary, the user can then single step through the code to pinpoint the source of the problem. OK, an error was detected. Let's look at it. Array index out of bounds. The index value is negative, and the expected range is between 0 and 49. If I click on Highlight, it takes me to the line with the problem. After inspecting my algorithm, I understand the source of the error. To compute the correct array buffer address, this should be a plus sign. If you go to the main hierarchy panel, you can click Edit, and it will bring up your favorite code editor. When a change occurs to a C source file, Reactus detects the change and asks if you want to reload, which we do. So let's start another tester session. 
It looks like Tester has detected a spatial memory error on line 49. Attempt to write invalid static address. Now I click on Highlight to go to the source of the error. This line writes zeros to the memory buffer to clear it out. Ah, it appears too many memory locations are written. This is because the buffer is using floats, which are 4 bytes, rather than doubles, which are 8 bytes each. So we need to adjust this number to 4. We'll save our changes and then start again. OK, it looks like we've cleared out a few errors and have generated a complete test suite. Besides detecting runtime errors, the plugin offers excellent tools for helping to debug your algorithm. A key feature of the plugin is coverage highlighting. It shows you which lines have coverage targets. A coverage target can be a set of values, execution of the line itself, true false decisions, or even conditions within the statement. When a condition evaluates to true, the thick red line above it disappears. When a condition evaluates to false, the thick red line below it disappears. When the decision, which is the overall result, evaluates true, the thin red line over the statement disappears. When the decision evaluates false, the thin red line underneath the statement disappears. Right-clicking on the line brings up a dialog that gives additional details, including MCDC coverage. OK, I've run all the tests generated, but still some parts of the model remain uncovered, as indicated in red. On line 56, I see that delay less than or equal to buffer range has never evaluated to false, as indicated by the red line below. The thin red line indicates the overall decision is never evaluated to false, so this should be looked at. Ah, I see that I intended to check whether delay was greater than zero and delay was less than or equal to buffer range, not or. I will quickly make the C code change. Now when we run the model, there are no uncovered targets, but we still haven't verified our algorithm. To accomplish this, we have many tools. We can open signal traces, called scopes, on the Simulink model, or even on variables within the code. Just by hovering, the C plugin provides detailed information on variables, functions, and other C features, like macros, as you can see here. The plugin lets you also set breakpoints, single step each line of the code, step forward, or even backward a simulation step at a time. Using the capability we've discussed, the React is for C plugin allows the user to interactively debug their Simulink C code. Test and coverage report generation, configurable error checking, and single step execution set a new standard for model simulation and validation. Thank you for taking the time to learn about the React for C plugin.